in today's video i want to talk to every heart that will be watching this video i want us to reason together the reason why polygamy is never a solution is not an achievement good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time frame where you are watching me from you are welcome back to gracious grace tv hello everyone you're welcome back to today's video if you are a new viewer you are welcome to this channel and if you are an old subscriber thank you so much for always supporting this channel i love you so much please endeavor to subscribe to this channel like the video and turn on your notification bell so as to be notified whenever i drop a new video what is the notification bell is the bell icon close to the subscribe button the moment you subscribe and it turns off red it shows you the bell just click it and you see an option to pick the first one which says all just click it and you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video and please leave your comments at the comment section yeah i'm a wife to a very handsome man john and a mom to a cutie jeremy we base in austria the city where that i base in in austria it is called graz <laughs> yeah guys so y'all a doche in case if you are not a nigerian and you are watching this video or you don't see nollywood movies is a popular actor popularly known all over the social medias like i said in my video before and his father is a veteran actor a very big producer those 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 days actor the father comes to social media all on and on saying all sort of things about women so a lot of people have very very bad opinion about him thinking that he's in support of his son taking a second wife and the second wife that they took is called judy austin she's also an actress a nollywood actress yeah and i think also a producer but not sure anyway from what she said because i'm going to be doing a video concerning her guys i've been trying to leave this matter but see your likes to be trending he likes us to be talking about him so he keeps coming all the time with different kind of saga like bringing topics for people to to talk about so he wants to trend let's help him trend <laughs> as we go into this video don't leave don't leave this video is interesting. You are going to learn a lot from it. I'll be bringing a lot in and see polygamy is not, is not for upliftment, solution for financial achievements, solutions for, for happiness in the marriage. Neither is it a solution to a man's happiness i will be bringing the videos that y'all made i'll be y'all made i'll be bringing it into this video bit by bit then we reason alongside with this video if his points are vital let me know at the comment section if he has a reason as in the way he's trying to defend himself if it makes sense as a man you go through this video let me know we are not saying that it's a complete taboo for a man to take a second wife no like as he has stated there are so many men out there that have gotten more than five wives still they are very popular influential but these persons are not him they are not in this they are not this generation if you look you see that these many men that do this they they are not from this generation they are not from this date and time they are still in our father's age grade y'all is 40 something years old he's a young man and should be leaving good traces for the younger ones generation to follow not for him to come out and be defending his act you have misbehaved yes you should own up and say okay i am sorry why are people attacking you the way he went about it his manners 
the way he talks, he talks too much. He behaves like a woman. And on top of it, very, very egoistic. He has a way of backing every of his thoughts with ways that doesn't make no sense. People out there talking about this video, it's not like they are jobless. It's not like they don't have videos or content to create. The truth is that so many of us don't just like the way y'all is going about this. If people don't treat it, a lot of young men are going to follow these footsteps. There are so many people that y'all is their role model. That's the truth. They look up to him, they admire him, they like everything he does. Before you know, someday they are going to tell their wives that, hey, so well, y'all took a wife and the whole world accepted it. So y'all, you are, you, are, you, are you, you are a significant human being that a lot of people have come to love, like, and they are following you for good all over the social medias. So if you are talking, you want to react, you should be very, very conscious. Conscious of what is coming out of your mouth. Young man, you are toying with a man's heart, human being's heart, not, I don't know, some irrelevant thing. Even though you don't have any regard for your wife, even though you don't have any respect for her, yo, I don't think you should be coming out the way you are coming out. As in every week you come to social media to drop one word or text message or whatever. It is really obvious that you are seeking for attention. Attention in our chore, yes. You want people to you want people to talk about you. You want to trend. You don't want to leave the social platform. That is the reason why every week you come up with one story or the other trying to defend yourself. Yes. You can never know it all. I advise you, the people talking about this matter, so many of them are richer than you. So many are more influential than you. So many have ascertained better positions than you will ever in your entire generation. To you. So I said I was going to speak and, you know, say my mind about the whole thing, you know, speak, um, say my own side of the story. Um, although a lot of people said, I shouldn't say my side, I should just be silent, but like I said before, um, <clears throat> silence is good, yeah, but um, not all the time, you know, sometimes silence is not really the best answer, you really have to speak, so I have decided to, <coughs> excuse me, I have decided to speak, um, for the past two weeks, right now, a, a lot of people have been, you know, discussing this issue, you know, me, um, the whole polygamy, <coughs> excuse me, the whole polygamy thing, uh, me taking a second wife and all that, it's been buzzing everywhere, we broke the internet and all that, you know, and people are still talking, it's it's everywhere, people are throwing insults, you know, uh, uh, pumping a lot of energy into the issue, you know, so <coughs> I decided I'm going to speak my mind, all right? Now, here's my take about the whole thing. It's my life. All right? It is my life. Listen, I have the right to wake up in the morning and marry 25 women. If I like, I make it up to 50. It is not your business. It is not the business of, you know, everyone around and, you know, to be saying things. It's my life. It is my life. In case if you don't live in Nigeria, you are not a Nigerian, maybe you don't know, you don't see Nollywood movies, you don't know the person we are talking about. His name is Yol Edoche. His father is a veteran actor in Nigeria. He's a producer, he's a director, a writer, script writer, and he has a big hotel in Nigeria too. The guy is all over social media and also very influential in Nigeria. He's a very popular actor. Guys, he took a second wife, Judy Austin, which we will still be told, doing another video about Judy because Judy dropped a, a, a video too, the same way you did. Guys, I want your opinions.
this time is no longer about the youtubers all about the okay, youtubers okay based on his you first guys, point your, that your opinion if he counts. likes it so, takes 25 wife if he likes it makes it up to 20 okay to 50 that is not wife. our business why I want to state you here, Yon was the one that came to social media to write why? that he took a second wife. Nobody went to his house to ask him, how are you living? Uh, did you ask your wife or not? He is the loud mouth that cannot keep his family out of the social media. Perhaps he wanted people to clap for him as he brought it to the social media. Maybe to him it's a very presentable thing to have so many wives. So he is very, very proud about it. He said it is his business. It is not longer your business because you have sold it to the social media streets and you said everybody should do whatever they will with your family reputation. You dragged your family out. You are the one that said we should start talking about your family. So y'all, polygamy as far as you are concerned is a good thing. And you are even associating yourself with those men of olden days, those men that had regretted it even in the in their in their, their tomb i believe in their graves i believe they, they will still be regretting why they they brought in so many children without giving them good values why they frustrated so many women's life at 40 y'all at 40 you this is how you you are wrestling they say life starts at 40 but you you are turning a bigger Mm, at 40, let me know you'll say anything. You understand because you are somebody's husband. And your wife, May, is a woman that has a lot of dignity. That's the reason why she has not come out to be talking the way you and uh, Judith is talking on the social media. Please, guys, as you are watching, we will, I will be bringing clips of what he said. This is the first version, which I have had my mind. Write your opinion on the comment section. Let me bring the another part of the video. I want to break them into sessions because y'all is a very proud person. The energy that you all are channeling into, you know, this thing. I mean, on a personal issue, my own personal issue. That's why politicians don't take uh, the people seriously. Nigerian politicians don't take Nigerians seriously. I mean, we have a lot of issues in this country. So many issues. Have you all channeled this energy to those issues? Have you? No, you have not. I mean, a party, a party promised us one dollar to one naira, and by the time they made this promise, a dollar was two hundred and sixteen or two hundred and fifteen. Today, the dollar is five hundred and ninety. It exchanges at five hundred and ninety uh, naira, and still going up. What have you all done about it, Nigerians? What are you saying about it? What are you saying to these people, the same party? I mean, I see people, youths, uh, also forming groups different support groups for, for the same party. And these are the same people who come online to, to say things about me, to judge me. Shame on all of you. I repeat myself, shame on all of you. You have no right. It is my life. Like I said before, it is my life. I have the right to wake up in the morning and marry <laughs> one Yo, you women are so in funny. One day. It's so you say life. shame so on the people talking to. about you or rather is the, the other way around shame on you is me. you don't have regard for marriage you don't have respect yes. for women and when, and you don't have regard for your family not the business you are even coming me. out with your ass not even audio this time you are showing yourself when you know that your children are going to grow up to meet all this on social media, look at what is coming out of your mouth. You are telling them that you don't have respect for their mother. Ah, now what for you? Eh? Y'all, so you are comparing your marriage with government uh, of Nigeria, country that I don't understand. If it were to be in a Western world, you did this thing, and your wife take it up with you, you will not like what, what will be the results. 
It's because in Nigeria is a man's world. You people can treat women like slaves and go uh, uh, go scot free. If not, what well, what you and Judy are doing to me is uncalled for. In case you don't know, his wife. This is his wife. His beautiful and elegant wife, and her name is May. And I applaud this woman because since they have been coming to social media to rant. I mean, uh, y'all, uh, Doche and Judy Austin, this woman has never come out for any reason. I believe just for the fact that she has family value, she does not want her children to regret any action that she takes. That's why she's keeping her cool. Though she has written one or two things, but not loud. Very, very reasonable. She's a wise woman. But y'all, y'all, they, so they said your name is Yule. That I shouldn't be calling you y'all. Your name is whether y'all or you is none of my business. My business is your, the uh, orientation and values that was inculcated into you by your parents. You drag them in a mold. You don't have value for familyhood. What is the problem that will make you to make this kind of a, a choice and you are very proud about it? If you wanted to, if you wanted to keep polygamy, that is a very good thing to you, y'all. Why did you not keep it within your family? Why did you bring it to the social media? It's because you want attention, because you want people to talk about you. So now they are talking about you. So what's the big deal? I repeat again, shame on you. I believe pets didn't know that they had thing, one or two when he was snapping these pictures. Though, because the comment that he dropped, look at it, read. He said, read, marrying see, two women your, doesn't what's mean a, you are a man. It just means you, you see are what about pet to suffer and you breed breed marriage amongst yeah, your marriage generation. Yeah, marriage value. So, y'all, even your father that is a vet, veteran actor, he came before you. He, re he made a platform for you to start from. He doesn't believe in polygamy. So why are you bragging about this stuff as if, as if it's an achievement? Ah! God, oh. There is God, oh. I mean, let's be honest. <clears throat> let's be factual. There are men out there, a lot of men who have children from different women. They even have different families. We have women who have children who are married who have children for other men in their families. We have priests. We have uh, uh, um, uh, clergymen, pastors who have children from different women, from different marriages, all over the place. All sorts of issues, yet these people don't have the guts to come out and own up to it and say, these are my children, this is my child, or anything like that. And then someone like me, a man like me who has, you know, who has the integrity, who has the respect, who has the guts to come out and own up, and people are saying things about me. Shame on you. Can you hear me? I said, shame. On you there are problems all over the place I mean someone sent me a message and, and said I should uh, <clears throat> excuse me the person said uh, that he's advising me to address to call a, a press conference I should call a press conference and discuss my family life with you excuse me <laughs> like 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 are you serious excuse me a press conference with all the problems in Nigeria all the problems that we are facing right now there are problems in this country I mean, have you told <laughs> the government you. of the day to call a press so, conference and address somebody all called the you and said that you should go and report yourself hmm? to the press Bandits you know why because you have already made it very loud Kidnapping you want it even louder Food than it, it is are rising. everything is increasing People you are, are rounding all over the social on the media rounding i've always known that you are talkative because when I saw you interviewing, uh, uh, what was the name of this actress, Destiny Etiku? The lady, the, the lady that was talking, you even talk more than her. The way you did demonstrate, I knew that, man, this man, the wife is in trouble at home. I beg, if you are a young man watching this video, I'm begging you. You don't want to know what happens in a polygamous home. 
you don't want to know what happened to children that was giving birth to in polygamous home. If I tell you stories of the ones that I have seen with my eyes, you will not believe it. I believe you too, you have had or seen one or two. It is not a good thing. It is not an achievement. It doesn't make you popular. It doesn't make your, your, your family uh, 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 love each other. I even have some people, persons from polygamous home that were given birth to by different women to one particular man. They don't talk anymore. They are sworn enemies. Their mothers have inculcated different kind of things into their head. Some of them even end up killing the man, their own husband. Out of, you know, enough is enough because he was the one that brought the frustration. For some reason, some have even done so many bad, bad fetish things that mouth cannot explain. Polygamy is not something one should be proud about. Clergy men did it. So many men did it. Y'all, you are not so many men. You have lovely families. Family. If this happened out of accident, you tell people that, oh, it was a mistake. Stop claiming rights. Stop looking for uh, 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 words, words that are not available to qualify your acts. What you did is unheard of, is not good. And for to crown it, you are even an actor. You are somebody people should be looking up to. See, look at the words that are coming out of your mouth. Look at the way you are positioning yourself. Why is it that when you are making these videos, you don't stay at home to do them? Listen to, listening to your interview with the other man, some man the other time, I was really, my ears were itching me, really irritating. You are a funny being, Yule. I guess I called it properly this time, Yule or whatever. Nine. The Deutsch chance will say nine. You are nothing to write home about. Those believing in you, watching and seeing your movie, you failed them completely. Yes, that you are a human, but what you did is not good. Life with you, shame on you. You should focus on your own life. My life is not your business. I mean, yes, I'm a celebrity. I do films. I have a fan base and all that. I'm very grateful for all that. I'm grateful to the people who love uh, the films that I do, who have supported my career. But you all must understand that I have my private life and I'm entitled to my private life. I cannot take decisions based on my private life. And then everybody is, oh, everybody is killing themselves over my private life shame on you have i come to your own private life to talk about it do i talk about your own private life do i tell you what you should do and what you should not do do i insult you huh do i do that have i done that no no and i will never do it it's my life i have a right to take decisions that i feel are okay for me in my family in my personal life you have no right to judge me i was not created by you i was created by god the same God created all of us. That same God is going to judge me. And that same God is going to judge all of you. You have no right. Focus on your own problems. We all have our various issues. All these people who wake up in the morning and then they carry my name, you know, my family on there. They all have their own issues. You have problems that are disturbing you. Focus on your problems. Apart from that, we have general problems in Nigeria. No wonder. That's why, like I said before, uh, the, the, the leaders don't take us seriously. Yes, we, <coughs> excuse me, we complain about uh, having bad leaders, bad leaders and all that. Yes, you know, for a very long time, it's been quite bad in Africa. But I've come to realize that part of the problem is also uh, the fact that uh, the people focus on irrelevant things. The people focus on frivolities. I mean, I said it before, I do, I do uh, campaign posts and I get 2,000 comments. 
you know, I talk about how things you don't have a private you know, life. I said it before. You are the one that brought yourself to the social media to be mocked, to be dragged anyhow. You understand? So acknowledge that fact and accept and your mistake. Talk about my family life, my Men don't take life, their family affairs to social media and expect any good results. It is what you bargain for, you are getting now. And you are doing all this for popularity yes you want people to talk more about you perhaps you think because of this you will now win the election i don't even understand what the name of your party is called but forget about it you understand uh -huh. but and another point i want to make you all you said that people have problem everybody have problem they don't bring it to the social media they are facing it already in their homes. You are the one that dragged yourself out. You are the one that brought your family affairs outside. Do you understand? Uh -huh. If not, nobody knew what you were passing through. And another point again, y'all, that I want to say is when you, when you claim to be a man and you are responsible and you are giving words that you want people to listen to, you keep pushing and you leave good legacy. One day, People will look to you, towards your direction. Not the way you have done, not the what you are doing now. Look at you, that you did this, you got 1,000 plus, you got 2,000 plus. Then you did this, you got 60,000 plus. Because people were expecting more from you. They were expecting you to live as an example to the youth because you are representing them. If you didn't make them, this man, you know even the shame. Actually, That's all you do. And then by the end of the day, you're looking for who to beg money from. You're begging money you know, from people who are productive, who are thinking about their own lives and how to fix their lives. You stop your own and you're worrying about my life and then you, you wonder why you're not making money in the day. Shame on you. I mean, look at the case of the, the, the female singer uh, uh, that, said, uh, that, that died as a result of um, domestic violence, as they said. And you know the fact that she did not speak out and then she died. Everybody is now, everybody came out Yo, to say, oh, she should have spoken. The she woman that spoken. died, she have spoken. she's, uh, a, she's you, a very know, honorable blah, 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 woman. May her soul rest in Now a man comes out What's and speaks out and case has nothing to do with you. And says, this yes, is another this is what I did situation in you know, time. Don't drag feels, people into yeah, your mess. Allow this woman's soul to rest in peace. And the husband that is a wolf will be dealt with accordingly. I trust Nigeria law. They will deal with him the way, according to what he desires. You understand? You are you are molesting your wife emotionally. You are doing more than Osinachi's husband did already. In case you don't know, in case you don't know, no, it's not only when you hit somebody you are molesting the person. You are molesting that woman's integrity. You are molesting her emotionally. You are molesting her every morally, every in every area. You are molesting your children, submitting them emotionally. By doing this, by making these videos that you are making, these children will grow up to come and watch all this. And please, if you are watching this video, please, I want to know why should a poly uh, why should polygamy be something that somebody should be bragging about or coming out to social media to defend himself that he did? Well, was anybody there when y'all was doing the do with Judy Judy Austin? Why are they using it to taunt us? Now we are talking, he's, he's, he's raining abuses, claiming that we are the one invading his privacy when he was the one that invaded our social platform, which is unnecessary family situation that nobody beckoned for. Y'all, you are so, so unreasonable. I believe your parents will be ashamed of you because the value they inculcated into you, you have failed. You have failed. You brought shame upon your family. Your brothers, I believe if they watch you, they will be ashamed to call you a brother. It shows you don't have family value, no moral value whatsoever.
start saying a, a lot of crap about that person. So I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for everybody. This is how it should be. There are a lot of people who have a lot of issues and then they hide. They can't say these things because of the fear of, um, of what society is going to say. Then a man like me who has no fear of anybody or anything, I come out to speak and then everybody is attacking me. You feel you can judge me. Shame on you. You have no right. When you talk, say these things like this, what about other people? I mean, when you, God when will you, judge when you, you as your up, wife you know, said. Spend all your, your mouth time is too much. You I, I uh, and uh, all the things I shouldn't so have done. So, what you, about you, other you want to justify your acts by truth? claiming that you are a truthful man, you are honorable, you have integrity, you, no you came out because you are not God afraid of anybody. Us. Are you God. supposed to be afraid of your wife? Are you supposed to be afraid of her? Or to respect her? You are supposed to be respecting her. Respect her feelings. Respect the bond you, the, the both of you share. Respect your family, your children, especially. Not because you are afraid of anybody. You shouldn't be afraid of her. Instead, love her unconditionally. That is what the word of God said. Marriage is, an hon is a honorable thing. It doesn't come with shame. But you decided to mess everything up and still you are claiming rights. Your mouth is so strong. I wonder how May is doing in your house right now. I wonder what you are doing to that woman. If you can face the world like this with, with fearless face. Yes, now, Odunga. Odunga. I beg. If you are watching this video for the first time, I beg you don't take after this man. He is a very, very, ego he is a very, very egoistic human being. I don't like his kind of character. Is nothing to write home about. All the story he, he brings to social to, to Nollywood, I believe they are all lies. Because he is not living up to what he's acting. So please, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your time here. I I I believe you have learned one or two from all these things that y'all have been doing. I believe you will not do uh, believe according to the way he's living. One man, one wife is the best, and that is the will of God for us. Bye.